Peace family and grand rising, man. What is poppin'? It's been a while. Way more than a while. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't want this video to be, like, too long like my normal videos. I'm gonna try to mark making, like, shorter videos so you just get straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, first off, man, I am, like, so grateful to be back on here talking to everybody, you feel me? And, um, I wanted to talk about the dark night of the soul and what is the dark night of the soul, right? So, the dark night of the soul is literally, like, the deepest and darkest like depths of like your soul right and then this is the place where it's like where you are like the most uncomfortable where push comes to shove you really don't know what you would do but you have like absolute control over like what you can do you feel me even though sometimes in these moments we feel like we don't have control it actually feels like we're losing ourselves and it can also feel like our traumas and our problems and situations and relationships or like whatever different things that we don't like about ourselves people which really just identify different aspects we don't like about ourselves but we don't like different things we see about people right because we're all reflections of, e of each other and it's like whenever all of these things is crashing into you like at once right and then you're just like yo like i don't know what to do this is where you can feel like depression anxiety suicidal you know like mental health is like so like unstable you know what i mean or like it can be stable in the dark night of the soul period but it really comes down to like how you transmute the energy if you're running away from it or not right we got to realize we live in a world of duality so as much like light or good shit that happens in this life there's just as much dark or bad you know what i'm saying and like good and bad is all perception anyway you know what i mean it's like the age of pisces taught us that but now we're moving we moved out of the age of pisces so it's, it's time to transcend that you feel me like it's time to realize like okay like it's not really about what's good or bad you know what i'm saying the energy you put in is the energy you get out you feel me that's the whole point and then we split it down the middle good or bad yin yang okay so it's like we got to realize like two halves make a whole but not all truth or but half so boom you feel me like so it's like whenever we're in this dark night of the soul period right we got to remember that our shadow is a part of us that like you know and it's so we shouldn't be the ones to like push away our shadow and like make ourselves feel like you know what um I don't like this part about me. I want this part to just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish it was, I wish it was never me or this isn't me. Nah, that's exactly how your shadow got there in the first place. By neglect, by regret, by people just saying, you know what, like, fuck this, like, you know what I'm saying? Or like, fuck this and fuck you. And then pushing you away in the corner and just ignoring everything you got to say. Or not showing you the proper love that you felt like you deserved throughout your life. Why would you do that? Why would you do that thing? That same thing to your shadow? You know what I'm saying? The reason why you got all these different traumas and stuff like that could be for a number of reasons, right? But then why be the main spark to why, like, you can't heal yourself, you feel me? Because it's like the more and more, like, we deny that part about ourselves, we're not really healing. We're still running away. We're still faking the funk, as my grandma would say. And it's like, no, nah, we can't be in the space of, like, faking the funk anymore. We can't be in the space of ignoring these different beautiful parts of ourselves. Because, for instance, right, um, an ability that comes from the shadow side, one could be manipulation, transmutation. You know what I'm saying? And it's like Scorpio energy. And it's like people think of, like, people who, like, we think of, like, manipulation as, like, something bad like oh they manipulated me i let them do this i let them do that i should have never let them in they manipulated me they took my kindness for weakness rah 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 right like so look that's manipulation like manifested in a negative way for selfish reasons in the negative light right manipulation could easily just be like bringing everybody's vibe up in the room or controlling the room 
or making sure a situation works out best for you or simply just turning anger into passion. You know what I mean? You just manipulated that energy. You feel me? You just transmitted it, right? So it's like the more and more like we get control of our shadow, the more and more we get control of like, these shadow abilities that we have like embedded into our shadow that we naturally use, but they come out in toxic ways. You know what I'm saying? Like they come out in toxic ways because we don't have control of that power yet. So it's like, how do we get control of that power? We get control of that power by healing and like doing shadow work, meditating and doing different techniques and stuff like that, right? Visual guided meditations is also a super dope way to like heal your shadow and do shadow work, you feel me? Like, especially when it comes to inner child healing, like imagine yourself like younger you and then like you now going up and having a conversation with you. Write a letter to yourself. Write a letter to whoever hurt you bad and that you don't intend to send because you don't need that other person for the healing. You don't need to reach out to whoever to make sure like you get your healing and you know what I'm saying? If spirit's calling you to do that, then do that. But it's not necessary, you feel me? Unless spirit says it's necessary. But like, for instance, right? I had like different things going on, like with me and my mom and stuff like that, where it's affecting my heart shock or something crazy, right? <laughs> and like, boom, like, Whenever, like, I started to, like, not ignore that, and I just got my journal out and just, like, started to write letters to my mom, like, it still make me kind of just, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have intentions on giving the letters to my mom or anything, but I needed to make, to make sure that, like, I got all of the feelings out that I had towards my mom and, like, our relationship and stuff like that on that piece of paper boom and then i did a burning ritual where i just set that bitch on fire you feel me like <laughs> i just set it on fire burn it down <laughs> but yeah but no nah, i did the burning ritual because it was like to purify like to purify it right and that helped me transmute it like those emotions you know what i'm saying because i was like i released it it's no longer a part of me so watching the ashes just wither away you know just lets me know that like it serves no purpose you know what I mean? So it's like, there's multiple ways to skin a cat. You feel me? So it's like, when we're in that dark night of the soul, just always remember that. Like, you got your higher self. You got your angels. You got your whole spirit team. You got your ancestors. You got your galactic family. You know what I'm saying? You got your spirit animals. You got a whole spirit totem inside of you. You know what I mean? Whether it be like the spirit of the wasp or the spirit of the wolf. You know what I'm saying? Call on that energy. You feel me? Bring in, like, bring out that inner beast, that inner lion, that inner lion. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, like, but Ben's gonna be a part two. It's gonna be a Dark Knight of the Soul workshop on the Cosmic Conversation and the Cosmic Workshop channel um, relatively soon. But yeah, man, I just wanted to just drop just some gems off about, like, the Dark Knight of the Soul for y'all, real quick. And um, I will definitely be more and more active on this channel. And um, yeah, but with all that being said, I hope everybody has a super blissful day. Peace, family.